Erev Tov Kharim, I'm Stephen Benuni. You're watching Israeli News Live. We have breaking news this evening, and I have to thank a special, special thanks to my own son, EJ. EJ actually caught this story himself, and he is definitely a, uh, he, he always loves to watch news. He's very much into politics and the things that are going on in the United States right now. But this time, EJ, I came in this evening and he says to me, Dad, he said, I've got a very important story I need to share with you. I think it's, I think it's going to be big, and I think you need to know about what is going on. Uh, and this is the story here from BuzzFeed, one of their senior writers at BuzzFeed, the first one, supposedly, possibly, the first human to ever pay for his dinner with a microchip in his hand. You heard that exactly right. This just came out today. For those that are looking at the possibility of a microchip being uh, that sign in the hand or in the forehead to be able to pay for things, you can't buy or sell saving you have that mark. Well, the RFID chip has finally made its way. It has debuted. It is now uh, for the first time being used. Uh, now, this was something strictly voluntarily. There's nothing, no one forcing anyone to do this, but this man did it as if it were nothing there. Let me give you a little little clip here of the video that my son shared with me today. He said, I can't believe he just paid with his hand. And you're good to go. That's crazy. Hi, my name's Charlie Warzel. I'm a senior writer with BuzzFeed News. And uh, in order to see what the... Charlie Warzel, this is the guy here on the screen now, who is a senior writer for BuzzFeed News. He's the one that actually had the microchip, the RFID chip, put into his hand, placed into his hand, and did, took all the extra steps that it uh, took in order to be able to make it active to where he could literally pay for something by his own hand. Let's watch what happens here. What it looks like. I decided to live for a month. I'm just paying for things with my phone. And somewhere along the line, I ended up getting a microchip implanted inside my hand to see if I could be uh, the first person in the world to uh, pay for something out in the real world using uh, just their hand. I basically wanted to try... And he did exactly that. He paid with just his hand. This is something a lot of people are concerned about is the wave of the future. Is this the mark of the beast, the RFID chip? I personally, one, have always believe that this could be as part of the, um, what would you say, that would be the part of, of, of bringing about a controlled way of purchasing things. Yes, I do believe that. But you have to remember, you don't only just have to have the mark in your hand or your forehead. You can have the number of his name or the name itself. Remember, that's what the scripture says in Revelation. You can have the number, the number of his name, or the mark in the hand or in the forehead. Now, I've always kind of was against the idea that it would be an actual microchip would be the mark of the beast itself, because we know that God also marks in the forehead those that sigh and cry for the abominations done in the city. And as well, the 144,000 are marked in their foreheads Two. Well, does that mean that God is going to put a microchip inside the 144,000, the believing Jews that will believe that Yeshua is Messiah? I don't think so. But I believe what it is is in their own minds, their own hearts, they have received Yeshua, believing him with their head first and therefore fill with the Spirit of God. That's that mark, that mark of conscious decision that they have made. But the RFID chip could that be the wave of the future? I do believe that it could be. And yes, I do believe that it could facilitate the mark of the beast itself that you can't buy or sell, saving you do take this mark. But I've always kind of believed that it's more so the conscious decision that you make with your head, just as the Jews, the 144,000, be making that conscious decision to believe that Yeshua indeed was the Mashiach. So therefore, they are marked in their foreheads. And from that moment, that thought that you accept that you're going to go with that Antichrist system will lead your hand to make that way. Just like Mr. Warzal, right here himself, made that conscious decision to actually have that microchip implanted into his hand. That was a conscious decision that he made. Charlie Warzal. Now, I don't think say that Charlie Warzal, that that made him now marked of the Antichrist system, but nonetheless, 
There is coming a day that you won't be able to buy or sell unless you are part of that system. A system that I believe is a new world order. Definitely coming not far from now. I think the Vatican is going to have a lot to do with that. Let's wait and see. Anyway, it is a very interesting uh, article that came out. Charlie did pay for his meal that way. First time is what you saw at the beginning of the video there. RFID chip implanted and in use. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Shalom. And thanks, son, for this article. Appreciate it.